Would you start off and uh, just tell the jury, just remind them, what are the alveoli? Sure. So you might remember hearing about this, but the alveoli are those grape-like structures um, that are at the very bottoms of the lungs. The alveoli is where the actual gas exchange occurs, meaning that is where when we take a breath in, oxygen gets across the lungs and into the bloodstream. And then the carbon dioxide that needs to leave the body crosses that same barrier into those alveoli. So when we take our deep breath out, that's how the carbon dioxide is removed. So it's the alveoli of the lungs uh, that serve that purpose. And, and again, what does the heart do in the body? What does the heart do? Well, the heart is um, the major pump, of course, of the body. Um, the best way to think of the heart, in my view, is to actually think of it as two pumps, sort of a right side and a left side. So if we start with the right side of the heart, after all that blood got pumped to the body and is coming back to the heart, blood is always returned to the right side of the heart. So this is now blood that presumably does not have much oxygen in it, and it needs to get more oxygen. So that right side of the heart, its job is singular. It is to pump blood to the lungs, to those alveoli. So the blood, when it heads towards the lungs, it can pick up that oxygen that it doesn't have right now, and it can deliver carbon dioxide and other acids and waste products to be expelled from the body. Once that blood from the right side of the heart has picked up the oxygen that it needed, it sends it to the left side of the heart. Now the left side of the heart uh, gets all the glory um, because it is what then pumps all of that oxygen and nutrient-rich blood to the entire body, meaning to the, to the lungs, to the kidneys, to the brain, to our muscles, uh, to deliver oxygen because every organ, every tissue of the body needs oxygen in order to function. And then once that process occurs, it repeats back to the right side and so forth. And, and what happens if the lungs can't deliver sufficient oxygen to the heart? That is, if there's a low <coughs> oxygen situation. Okay, well, um, the heart is only as good as the fuel that it's provided with. So when that uh, right side of the heart sends blood to the lungs and says, okay, um, can I have some oxygen, please? If there is no oxygen there, or not enough oxygen there, there is nothing the heart can do to extract more from the lungs. So it has to take that deoxygenated blood, that blood that does not have enough oxygen, and pump it to the left side of the body. The left side of the body says, okay, this is what I have, this is what I'm gonna pump now. And so what ends up happening is if the lungs don't give enough oxygen to the body, the heart then has to pump insufficiently oxygenated blood to the tissues of the body and that's when problems occur. Well, then returning to your opinion, cardiopulmonary arrest caused by low oxygen induced by positional asphyxia. Uh, what caused uh, the low level of oxygen uh, in the case of Mr. George Floyd? Well, in his case, um, it was the truly the prone restraint and positional uh, restraints that led to his asphyxiation in a nutshell. Um, he was just simply unable, using all of his muscles of respiration, his chest wall, uh, what we call accessory muscles of respiration, which are extra muscles that will um, be triggered in the event that you're having trouble breathing. Um, he was trying to get in enough oxygen, and because he was unable to, because of the position that he was subjected to, um, as we just discussed, the heart thus didn't have enough oxygen either, which then means the entire body is deprived of oxygen. So, low oxygen induced by positional asphyxia. Did you consider other possible causes for Mr. Floyd's death? Sure. I tried, to, of course, to be as thorough as possible, but I focused mostly on two other potential causes. Number one is whether there could have been a primary heart contribution to George Floyd's death, and the second was whether a drug overdose could have caused his death. So doctor, would you tell the jury what, what is a primary heart event? Sure. So <clears throat> a lot of things can injure the heart. For example, if you do not take in enough oxygen, that will injure all the organs, including the heart. When I use the term a primary heart event, I mean something that originated from the heart itself. 
So for example, a heart attack. All right, one of the arteries of the heart just suddenly got blocked completely and a heart attack occurred. Or um, the heart just without any um, explanation, nothing else secondary inducing it, went into a serious uh, ventricular arrhythmia. Okay, so the bottom part of the heart, that part that we were talking about that needs to pump blood to the body, suddenly went into a chaotic rhythm all on its own. Um, if any of those things happened, then I would consider that a primary heart issue, not being caused or secondary to something else.